How's it going everyone? My name is Charlie. This right here is my Great Dane puppy Roxy. And in today's video, we're talking to you all about why you need a Great Dane. So if you're somebody that's considering bringing a new dog into your family, we're gonna be talking to you today about all the reasons why a Great Dane is the best dog for you. So let's get started. You want a companion for your family. You want them to be a part of your activities, a part of your vacations. If you're going anywhere that a dog is present, you want them to be there with you. There's gonna be no dog happier to fill that role than a Great Dane is going to be. For those of you that have never had a Velcro dog before or a dog that is literally going to be attached to the hip of somebody in your household at all times, this, <laughs> This is that kind of dog. You want a dog that is affectionate and loves your family, loves to be a part, a dog that isn't aloof, a dog that wants to always be within five feet of somebody in your household. This is that dog. They're the happiest when they are cuddling somebody, kissing somebody, touching somebody. They do wonderful in houses of multiple people with children. Um, depending on other pets, they certainly do well with a whole slew of other dogs, but they can do very well with other pets as well. Obviously with children, you have to be aware of how powerful their tail is, but their endearing nature, their devout loyalty absolutely <laughs> makes up for any of those minor inconveniences. and. You have to watch your bare feet when you are in a house with a Great Dane because when they step on your foot, it hurts. So you want a companion, you want a companion that is loyal, you want a companion that's affectionate, but on top of that, you want a companion that's got your back. And this is where the Great Dane also shines when it comes to being a watchdog. This breed loves to be on watch. It loves to have high visibility. It loves to be protecting and supervising its area. It loves to be staring out windows, being on a, a perch or an area that allows it to see higher than where they normally are. Even right here, this allows, being up here allows Roxy to see over our fence line so she can be kind of patrolling in the back. This is one of her lookout points, her watch spots. And with a Great Dane's bark, everybody in the house will know when they see something that is remotely out of place. And just their physically or physical imposing nature period is intimidating to anybody that might be on looking to your house period. So they have an intimidating build, an intimidating bark, but they have the softest heart when it comes to the people that they love and the people that they care about. On top of these things, you would also like a dog that can pick up basic commands. You don't have to be, you know, a certified trainer or anything like that to be able to teach your dog how to sit, how to stay, how to lay down, crate training, some of these different basic essentials that are helpful when, you know, cultivating that cool, calm, wonderful companion. You know, they are eager to please, they're very emotional, and they love to, you know, be rewarded for positive behavior and they like to the reward of seeing you happy with their performance as well. Another thing that you're looking for that would be an added bonus of the Great Dane is the fact that their coats are very easy to groom in comparison to, to many dog coats. There is very little shedding. The brushing and grooming requirements period is very marginal or very easy to maintain in comparison to a lot of other very good family dogs um, on top of the fact that their coat also just looks gorgeous so not only does it have great looks but it's also very easy to maintain very easy to maintain what is also an added benefit of having a great dane and a dog that might look physically imposing or intimidating is the fact that you don't have to be worried about them when it comes to them meeting other people in your house. Great Danes are all softies at heart. They're that definition of gentle giant where if you bring somebody into your house and you're okay with that individual, they're going to be okay with that individual. 
The only thing you have to be on the lookout for is obviously with their size and their weight period, or even their tail, that there are any consequences that might come or any kind of unexpected bumps or bruises are all, <laughs> are all accidents just based on their sheer size because they still will always, no matter how big they get, they will always think of themselves as lap dogs and they are not aware of just how big they are. So, so <laughs> we can file that under unintended consequences that the Great Dane is wonderful with the people that you bring into your house, but if there is any minor discomforts to anybody, it's just based on their sheer size. And let's face it, if you're even considering getting a Great Dane to begin with, you already know that this is a big dog and you have to like big dogs, period, to even be considering a Great Dane. So you are somebody that's also very affectionate and you want a dog that both receives affection from you and showcases it back. Great Danes are the biggest attention hogs of any dog I have seen. They love giving and showing attention so much that Roxy is almost always either touching me or like five feet away from me. I wake up most mornings to her either staring at my face or licking my face awake she always wants to be <laughs> she always wants to be around somebody and i made a previous video showing when my mom came to visit and that was the happiest that i had seen roxy in quite some time they absolutely love being able to have more people to show affection to and be around so there's times that i feel bad when I have to work from home and I have to be staring at a computer screen and I have Roxy just staring at me that wants to play, that wants to cuddle, that just wants to be near me, but I'm not able to allocate that attention to her. So when my mom was here and I'm working at my computer, she can just be with somebody else. So Great Danes do so well in households that have multiple people where they can spread out their attention based on who's available for that attention. If you're somebody that wants your dog to really love you, a Great Dane will check all of those boxes every single day of the week. So in conclusion, your family or you are looking to bring a large type of breed into your home. You're looking for somebody that is going to be a great companion. You're looking for a breed that has that physical imposing stature or maybe that intimidating presence. but the kind of dog that is still gonna be great for your family. A dog that is regal but doesn't take itself too seriously. A dog that is full of affection, attached to your hip, and is going to be head over heels in love with you, your family, and anybody that your family welcomes into your house, then a Great Dane is certainly the dog for you. These loyal, loving companions make excellent additions to your household and are going to fill it with love and comfort. So in this video, we obviously talked about all the things that people love about Great Danes, all of the pros about Great Danes. There's obviously with any large type breed or any breed of dog period, there's going to be its drawbacks. And by drawbacks, I don't mean they're just like potential obstacles or things that you might need to overcome, but there's gonna be give and take in any breed that you consider bringing into your home. Some people might not like a dog that requires so much attention or so much affection. Even myself being a single person living in this house, I feel bad sometimes that I'm not able to give my dog as much attention as she would like. So everybody does have a list, or if you don't, you should make one, of variables that are important to you when considering bringing a dog into your home. And if you are considering bringing a large breed into your home, I think that a Great Dane might just be the perfect dog for you. But I'm Charlie, this is Roxy, and thanks for rocking with us.